Hello and welcome to Real to Real. Today as we come to you from Our Lady of Peace Parish in Turner's Falls, a Catholic community which earlier this month marked a milestone. Back in January 2006, when the diocesan pastoral planning process was just in the beginning stages, three Franklin County parishes, St. Mary of the Assumption and St. Anne in Turner's Falls, and Sacred Heart in Greenfield were merged into a new parish, Our Lady of Peace. Named by parishioners to pray for peace because of tensions and violence in society and the continuing threat of terrorism. Now, a decade later, Springfield Bishop Mitchell Rosansky and founding pastor Father Stanley Examit joined more than 500 people for the 10th anniversary celebratory mass. David Martin was there and has our story. As they gathered to mark a decade, parishioners of Our Lady of Peace Church in Turner's Falls express pride in their milestone and that they have been a welcoming Catholic faith community. Chief celebrant for the anniversary mass, Springfield Bishop Mitchell T. Rosansky said in his homily that as three Franklin County parishes merged, it was a journey of trust for the many parishioners who may have felt a bit threatened by change, which is not always easy. Bishop Rosansky said that as God's people living lives of faith, they are called to have both trust and hope that it is all part of God's plan of salvation in uniting them as his people. You can see that they enjoy praying together and being together and serving together. So it meant so much for me personally to be here, to be part of this wonderful celebration of the 10th anniversary of Our Lady of Peace Parish. It was a wintry day back in January 15, 2006, when Our Lady of Peace celebrated its inaugural Mass. The former St. Mary the Assumption Church building was utilized as it merged with St. Anne Church, also in Turner's Falls, and Sacred Heart Church in Greenfield to become the new parish. When we were coming together, um, we made a connection with the three kings you know, being by, guided by a star. The people said, you know, when we drive by our, the churches that closed, you know, we feel somewhat nostalgic and you know, feel sad about that. But what we have now is much stronger and you know by working together and having the gifts of, of that many more people together uh, it really works out for the best young parishioners played a prominent role in the 10th anniversary mass some sang in the spanish choir representatives from the sixth and seventh grade classes of the our lady of peace religious education program presented a book of memories from the past 10 years to bishop rosansky The involvement of the youth was especially appreciated by longtime parishioner Connie Sicard, who was baptized at the former St. Mary of the Assumption Church 76 years ago. She is proud of the cultural diversity and community outreach of her parish. We feel you cannot have peace without justice. And one of the ministries I've been involved with for 32, 32 years in this uh, area is the Franklin County Community Meal and there is a community meal downstairs every Monday evening. And we reach out to our guests with uh, socialization, food, food to take home. A little bit of the old and a little bit of new traditions were part of the Our Lady of Peace Parish here in Turner's Falls 10th anniversary celebratory mass. Father Stan explained to the congregation in Spanish and English that they would receive packets of chalk and incense. The chalk is used to print the current year and the first initials of the three magi above a major doorway for a blessing of their homes, an old Polish tradition. Later, Bishop Rosansi blessed some bottles of holy water for parishioners to bless each other and take home for use on a daily basis. Father Stan asked us to do this during the Easter vigil and Easter day. And we started this process of having families all bless each other. And when we saw how wonderful it was for the grandparents and the children to be blessing each other and how happy they were, we thought this was a really good idea. Parishioner Jim Devlin enjoys visiting area nursing homes to offer residents communion as a Eucharistic minister. But most of all, he loves meeting others. At first I thought, well, I'm the one that's giving. But I discovered very quickly that they were giving too. Yeah, they wanted to talk, but it was a visit 
that was mutual. And I enjoy visiting with these people now. They're my friends. Greg Pellerin, a religious education teacher at Our Lady of Peace, looks forward to a future of diverse and young parishioners who will continue attending church. To hear the, the, the babies in the, in, during Mass is, is, is wonderful and hope that we can have more of that and that we keep the young college students and everybody still coming. So that's really the challenge and that's really what I see is, is that next, bringing that next generation so that they understand the relevance of their faith. After the anniversary mass, a reception took place in the church basement for parishioners to reminisce about their involvement at Our Lady of Peace, a parish that has offered service to many in the Turner's Falls community for the past 10 years. For Real to Real, I'm David Martin. Congratulations to Our Lady of Peace as it continues to reach out to the community, welcoming others and also to serve as a successful model in putting pastoral planning into action.